Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. And this one is from Jason. Hello. Jason from All About Android. How's Hello. It going? It's going great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so happy you made it here today without getting pulled over. Uh, yeah, although I will say when I got pulled over, it was because of the phone I'm going to That's review. That's right. Well, no, it was because I was stupid. <laughs> But I happen to be holding the phone that I'm going to review today. California law says no handheld devices while you're driving. I wasn't driving. Well, okay. I wasn't driving. I was at the stop. And you were flailing around But I was in the car in the driver's pictures. seat, flailing it about, taking pictures of my kids. You got some kid. good photos. I got, I got some great photos. So it captured we'll a good your, moment. We'll see your pictures in just a few minutes, but you've been playing with this for about a week. Yeah, so this is the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, and yeah, I've been playing with it for the past week. And I mean, it's a, a pretty large and in-charge phone, as you can see here. It uh, is it's big. $199 on contract. You can get it for $599, uh, no contract. And just to kind of go through uh, some of the quick specs here, and oh, by the Ooh, way, fingerprint scanner, reader. right? There cool. you go. Uh, 2,500 uh, mill millihertz quad core Snapdragon 801 and I gotta say this phone flies when you're using it uh, games whatever you happen to be doing with it everything's super snappy and fluid has two gigs of RAM a 5.1 inch full HD Super AMOLED screen with oh. 431 pixels per inch that's pretty um, it has 16 gigs of storage built in uh, that gets trimmed down to about 10 gigs of usable storage wow. uh, a little bit more than that when you're talking about you know touch whiz and software enhancements on the top of that but they kind of make up for it because the micro SD card slot uh, can hold up to 128 gigs of storage so you can go nutso on storage on this thing <laughs> if you want uh, 16 gig or sorry 16 me megapixel uh, rear-facing camera it's actually capable of recording 4k video Oh, and cool. I have uh, some samples we'll get to here in a second. Uh, 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera. has a 2,800 milliamp hour battery underneath here. Let me pull And you this can open. replace it just like their old ones. Yes, you can replace it. And the way that they did this, I think, and I'm sure this is the way it is on the S4. I can't remember uh, by taking a look, but the battery is really long and slim. Now, the phone is very large, but it's also very thin. I'm um, pretty, pretty happy with kind of the size that they were, they were able to get on the design here. And that's, of course, you know, a, a lot of times manufacturers will say, we don't want to put in a removable battery because it's going to bulk up the phone and everything. Right. Samsung really did a good job balancing that and just making a long, slim battery that still makes, keeps the phone uh, very slim. And now, thin. you're a pretty hardcore user, would you say? Oh, well, I, I try to be. <laughs> I certainly try to be, yes. Uh, does the phone last for you all day? Uh, that's definitely a big key bonus about this awesome. device. 2,800 milliamp hour battery, and they have a lot of really great power um, power management enhancements. Actually, when it gets down to 10%, mm -hmm. it'll kick into this kind of like monochrome uh, low low usage mode that extends, they say, extends up to 24 hours longer wow. by just giving you calls and texts uh, text messages, so kind of limiting your data stuff. So if you're out and about and you absolutely still need those things, you're going to get even more battery life. And my battery life with this uh, went a few times just not plugging it in at night. And I mean, it easily went almost 48 hours both times. So, That's cool. And, you know, using it as I normally use a phone. So it wasn't like I was using it less uh, in, at, at those times, so it was pretty great. Uh, water resistant, it is IP67 water resistant. That's not waterproof, but that's, you know, uh, rain, short dunk in the water, yeah. not swimming <laughs> in the lake necessarily. Oh, darn. <laughs> and as a result, you do get this little cover here, right? So, uh, which I'm not normally a fan of port covers, but obviously it's essential if you want to protect the device. I have to say, Samsung did a good job with the port cover. It's a kind of a silly kind of uh, thing to mention, but so often and when you have these port covers, they're the hardest thing in the world to pry open, and that's why they're so annoying. Yes, they Samsung really annoy me. <laughs> did a, did a great job of kind of giving you a nice little easy to grab onto notch, so you can pull it right out. Uh, and then on top of that, the headphone jack uh, is just a normal headphone jack. There is no cover on it, so wow. so good stuff there, and very very uh, very awesome as far as protection protecting the phone. You, you also the saw the back has this weird perforation that's going on. Yes, exactly. So this probably on on. Uh, on video looks maybe a little bit more premium than I'd say it feels in the hand. Kind of has that that note style. Uh, right. It's not quite pleather. I mean, it's actually <laughs> plastic, but it kind of looks like it might be pleather or okay. leather. It's not really. It's it's. Um, I don't know. It's okay. I think. 
this all, this is up to your personal taste. For me, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. To be honest, the design of the phone in general, you can see on the sides here, these little like notched uh, fake chrome uh, <laughs> sidings all around the device. I can see how some people might think that makes it look premium. I feel like it makes it look kind of cheap. Yeah. I'm Especially when you see it up close. I like matte black. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, you know, of course, with the HTC One M8, you know, it's more of a kind right. of a metallic approach, yeah. uh, less of a plastic thing. And that's that's really true to Samsung's kind of design aesthetic. They really go the plastic route, which a lot of people love. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. But having said that, it's a pretty decently uh, designed phone. Um, display is obviously, it's beautiful. It's a large, rich 1080p display. I love just looking and using and interacting with this display. Uh, very big, uh, big thumbs up there. Um, performance, I already said it's super zippy. Uh, boot up process actually is less than 10 seconds from, from turning wow. it on to using it actively. So I was pretty impressed with that. And we might as well take a little bit of time and talk about the camera here. Yay! Oh, somehow I activated Google now. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how I did that, but uh, there you go. Seems oh. to respond pretty well, though. <laughs> yes, exactly. So um, one cool thing to note about the camera on the S5 is it has a dedicated chipset, and it allows for things you know like faster operation. It has phase detection on the autofocus, which cool. is a different type of autofocus. So focusing tends to be you know a little bit quicker with it, um, and I. You know, results were kind of mixed as far as that was concerned. But ultimately, I was pretty happy with how it could lock uh, into its auto uh, focus. Uh, good depth of field most of the time. Lots of bells and whistles software-wise. You just have all sorts of options to choose from when you're... Uh, see, Samsung's really good at just listing this grid full of <laughs> a massive amount of things that you can wow. turn on it's or off. It's almost too much. You almost need a map to know where all of the options are, even yeah. though they're displayed on the screen for you. Uh, Brian, if you can show a few of the, the image... Uh, the images. So beauty face is a front-facing camera uh, in this regard, and it kind of smooths out the skin. Yeah. I don't know. It looks a little too photoshopped to me. Kind of reminds me of going to Walmart and having pictures done. As yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> it's an automatic thing, so that's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, I I thought that there was really great oh, depth nice. of field. Um, you know, when I was really close to something, it had something in the background. It was very easy for me to focus to the fore or background and get a nice blurred effect uh, on on whatever wasn't in focus. In good light, pictures were fat were absolutely awesome. Off the charts, great. The color and, is excellent. Yeah, excellent color. Maybe a little oversaturated at times, but I, I really like the pictures there. Um, okay, so it has live HDR. This means that instead of processing HDR after the fact, you actually see the results of HDR on the screen as you're doing it. As you can see between these two, this is HDR on. Oh. Go back to HDR off. If you see Steve Gibson up in the monitor, this will kind of give you an indication of what the differences wow. are between the two. It okay. kind, of, kind of rounds it out and gives you a nicer... Uh, nicer look and you're monitoring that as it's happening. So that's that's very cool uh, Low light it this looks okay on this monitor right now But if you really got up close and and looked at this uh, little picture grainy. little grainy yeah, yeah in low light But uh, it was okay selective focus is another feature that it has It's kind of similar to what the m8 has and is using two cameras for where you can be really close to an object And then have the background, you know be able to kind of say yes blur out the background you can see in this picture it didn't do a good job of it, right? right. It captured the poles, <laughs> and then it also captured that gear uh, out by the set, but totally and completely blurred out Leo's head. If you go to the next one, uh, this one did it a little bit better. Maybe it was the lighting, but Steve Gibson in the foreground, totally blurred in the background. So uh, it was kind of iffy. It was kind of, you know, sometimes I got great results out of the camera and some of the features, sometimes not so great. Cool. I do like that it is 16 megapixels, though. <laughs> yeah, no, 16 it's megapixels, a lot better. great. Uh, this is another feature, actually. This is virtual tour. So I was doing this a little bit earlier, and you were giving me a strange look. You're actually at the end of this video. <laughs> but essentially, it's it's kind of like a live panorama, so you can kind of give someone a virtual tour so of a place. you can actually walk around. Yeah, you walk around, and it's not video, necessarily. It's all stitched together photos. Can and, you play it as a video? Um, that's what I did here. I okay. actually exported it as a video, and cool. I could upload this to YouTube if I wanted. Uh, if you play it within the phone, it gives you a nice little map to show you where you went. And there's snubs <laughs> in the background. Making noises is, at so. Jason, of course. So there you go. So that's <laughs> the camera. I'd say, you know, all in all, pretty cool. Not always the most dependable uh, okay. results. You don't. You sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. And you also said you did some 4K video, right? I did. I doubt that's going to play in the TriCaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's looking a yeah, little it's choppy, stuttery. but it's 4K. And I got to say, 4K eats up your space 
fast. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I think this was like a minute and it was almost 500 megs. So you got you to gotta be okay with that too. Obviously, hopefully you know that going into it. That's cool. <laughs> uh, real quick on the software, and then I'll give you my pros and cons here. Uh, you know, of course, this is TouchWiz. Mm -hmm. And I would say, it, from my previous experience with TouchWiz, this is definitely toned down. It's a little bit... You know, more along the stock Android line. You know, if TouchWiz could ever get to, you know, get closer to stock Android, but it's still obviously TouchWiz. Didn't really get in the way. Still, though, you know, options are just overwhelming. If you pull wow. down that settings menu uh, on your OS, you know. Granted, it's nice to have instant access to turn some of these things on or off, but it's just kind of overwhelming. Like you have to stare at it for a while to really understand what you're looking at. And maybe if you use it regularly every day right. you'll know exactly you get where used to, to go. it eventually yeah uh left of the home screen let's see here instead of being google now which it is on kind of stock android you get this my magazine thing which i suppose is kind of neat if you're using it. i didn't find it very useful myself uh some nice features there's something called one-handed operation which if i can get it to kick in Oh, there it is. So if you're if you are all with you know using the oh, phone with one hand, oh, this is my hands because I have tiny hands. <laughs> exactly. If you're using it with one hand, you swipe from from the outside to the middle and back. Either side works, and it'll and it'll bring it over to you so that you can temporarily make your screen a little smaller and use it with one hand because it is quite a large screen otherwise. Uh, so there's that. Uh, you know, they, they have a lot of features. Samsung's really good at spending a lot of time giving, you know, throwing all these features in there. Again, you have to ask yourself, are those features something that I'm going to use all the time? Yes. And uh, some people, you know, really, really get into them. Other people, it ends up just kind of bulking up the space. That's why you have 10 gigs of usable storage on here instead of 16. So, um, so the features are neat, no doubt. Are you going to use them? That's a question you have to ask yourself. All right. So pros and cons. Pros and cons. I would definitely say the display. Battery. I was super impressed with battery and the power management. Uh, it's securely protected. I'm sure you saw at the beginning of this review. I've been using the fingerprint scanner the whole time that I've been using it, and more or less, I've been pretty happy with it. Cool. One thing I'm going to say real quick, because I've seen a lot of reviewers miss this, you can store up to three fingerprints. And when you do it, if you show my screen for a second, I'll just kind of show you. Uh, when you're learning it, you know, I think everybody's tendency is to go like this with their fingers. Mm -hmm. You want to store one of them like this with your thumb. That way, if you're ever one-handed, you don't need to pull your other hand over to Smart. hold the phone. Yeah. So if you do that, it totally works. And a lot of people have complained about that with a fingerprint scanner. But anyways, uh, it's securely protected, and then the performance is fantastic. As far as the cons, the design aesthetic, kind of the plasticky approach, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're going to put a case on it, and that'll help um, You know, if you don't like the plastic approach. But keep that in mind. The camera, a little too inconsistent. Uh, but you know, it has the capability of recording great pictures, and the software is still it's toned down. But there's still a little bit of extra bloat there. Samsung did move some of their apps into their app store so that it isn't installed by default, and that's a great start. Uh, but there's still a lot to uh, maneuver through there. But I'd say my verdict: I'd buy it. Um, I think it's a fantastic phone if you know what you're getting yourself into. If you're not like me, dead set, you know, into you know getting a vanilla or a right. Google experience phone, and you want something that has a little bit more bells and whistles, the Galaxy S5 is a fantastic phone, and uh, I would definitely consider it. Awesome. Thank you so. So much Jason absolutely I, I kind of predicted that you'd give it a buy you did <laughs> I kind of yeah, some people I don't think we're so sure that the, I was going the galaxy to. is a good line and it they is do, a good line. they do a very good job on their interiors on yeah. the hardware yeah